and trip mind. Belgrove, I know a bit about Belgrove, used to be trained by Ian Semple, uh, used to run on the Scottish tracks, and John Cullen is on this. Mm -hmm. A solid horse, but again, does he have the sort of scope to race up quite a bit higher as Tiger Trek? I doubt that. It's very competitive, isn't it? The uh, the owners of Dame Firth of the Wild at Heart seem that they've uh, got in mass to the races now because they've emailed in to say that uh, uh, Donald and Sean, I think, and Shelley and Evan and Paddy, and they've all made the journey. It's quite away from where they're based to Clonmel, so we wish them uh, the best of luck. Siobhan, I better mention all the names. Gerard. I think I've got everybody. Apologies if I've missed anyone out. Sarah. Anyway, they're, they're all there on mass, so we wish them luck with their. And their we horse. should do her justice, shouldn't we? It's Henry de Bromed's mare. Um, she was cannoned into last time, and Dave Jennings in the spotlight. So I'm a learning colleague. He, he he's all over her. As they make the run to the first fence in the John Kennedy Motors Toyota. Clonmel beginners chase first to show Tiger Trek with utmost zeal right alongside, and they're followed. As they jump the first fence, Dame Firth going now towards fence number two. And little to choose between Tiger Trek, Atmo Zeal, Dame Firth, being followed by Belgrove and Ray Dari. Gates of France and Mind the Pennies as they make the run now to the far point of the track and start to race down towards the straight, having jumped the first two fences. The back marker in these early stages is Carpet Elegance, but matching strides for the lead. Tiger Trek, Roger Loughran on the outside of Utmost Seal and Kevin Sexton. These two stretch on about three lengths in front of Dame Firth, Andrew Lynch third with Belgrove moving into fourth. These are followed by Ray Dari, Mind the Pennies, Gates of France and Carpet Elegance. They swing into the straight the first time to fences three and four and nicely strung out the field led by Utmost Seal in the hood followed by Tiger Trek and then in third place Dame Firth, the red cap. Next is Belgrove, followed by Ray Dari, Mind the Pennies, Gates of France, and Carpet Elegance. First fence in the straight, number three, Utmost Seal, has now raced right away from Tiger Trek as they come now to the fourth fence. And at this one, Utmost Seal, safely over and clear of Tiger Trek, and in third place, Dame Firth. Four or five more lengths then to Belgrove, who's followed by Ray Dari, then Gates of France. Mind the Pennies is clear of Carpet Elegance. Racing away from the stands now towards fence number five and way out in front is Utmost Seal. Going right away now from Tiger Trek with in third place Dame Firth, Belgrove and then Ray Dari, Gates of France, Mind the Pennies and Carpet Elegance. Over the fence past the stands bringing them on towards the back straight and the halfway stage Utmost Seal with the commanding lead over Tiger Trek, who's three in front of Dame Firth and turn six to seven lengths clear of Belgrove, as the leader now reaches the first of the three fences up the far side, Utmost Seal, a long, long way in front of Tiger Trek, and in third, Dame Firth, Belgrove, Ray Darley, Gates of France, and then Mind the Pennies, Carpet Elegance, a long way behind. Over the next fence at the far side of the track, and going now towards the next, which is the third from the finish and the final ditch, utmost zeal, upholding a clear advantage, followed by Dame Firth, who moves to join Tiger Trek for the second. The leader not so far in front now, utmost zeal as Dame Firth cuts right into the lead. Then Tiger Trek with Belgrove in fourth place and the leading quartet appeared to have it between them. A long, long way in front of Radari, Gates of France, Mind the Pennies, Carpet Elegance, down they come towards the turn into the straight. Two more fences to jump, but most zeal, with Dame Firth making ground between horses. On the outside is Tiger Trek. Belgrove is not far behind them. Into the straight they come, two fences to jump, and Dame Firth goes to the front, followed by Tiger Trek as Utmost Zeal drops back, and then Belgrove straightening up for the final two fences, and it's Dame Firth, the leader from Tiger Trek, pushed along in second, and then Belgrove challenging Utmost Zeal for the third, coming down to two out, and it's Dame Firth, the leader, at the second last. Dame Firth over and clear now between the final two fences and the John Kennedy Motors Toyota. Clonmel beginners chase, and it's all Dame Firth safely over the final fence and on the run uphill towards the finish. Dame Firth is going right away from Tiger Trek and going up towards the line. It's Dame Firth who wins emphatically by eight to ten lengths. Tiger Trek second, Belgrove is third, and Utmost Zeal fourth.
Well, she could have won any easier, could she? Emphatic victory here for Dame Firth. She was as big as 7-1 to one earlier in the day, well supported. A good performance. The owners would be absolutely chuffed, won't they, having made yeah. the journey? Lots of IIs going on there, I think, and get it ready and what have you. And uh, the, uh, the only danger from here was the obstacles, wasn't it? She's floated clear. Uh, she's a Flemings Firth, but she obviously likes the sound surface. Um, she's lightly raced as well, and this looks like probably a plan that was hatched here, wasn't it? Because that... So, so that Tremor win, uh, that Avon Tutor that won that race is much better. I mean, he won half the track here, so uh, it was a drop in grade. But she's done it nicely, and Henry de Bromel is so good with these chases, and they, they always seem to jump really, really well. The one thing uh, that you know you're going to get with utmost zeal in the race is a sound early pace. Mm. And there's no reason to think uh, that this form shouldn't quite work out. A little bit disappointed uh, that Tiger Trek didn't produce a bit more. It was his first run of 52 days. He got in a tight once or twice, but he's built in to that bell growth soundly enough, so you could be positive about that, I think. Yeah, great performance. One of the connections of the one at Hart Syndicate from uh, the county down coast up there at Clonmel tonight, and uh, Dame Firth wins at 7-2, to two, beats Tiger Trek 100-30, to 30, and uh, back in third was Belgrove at 4-1. to one. I've had a couple of emails in uh, tipping that horse up as well, Dame Firth before the race, uh, uh, David, and I think another David as well. Uh, so, pretty well fancied amongst At The Races viewers this evening, Dame Firth. Now, we were working our way through your...